I think this board takes us over to 35, I could be wrong. It fit right on here. Maybe not. Could be wrong, might have had to go the other way. <laughs> this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. We're gonna find out, I guess. You would think it would have to run in the 35. Here. But yeah, it runs in the 35. Right now it doesn't say what highway this is. It says it's supposed to be double A. I ain't seen no signs of it. There's another place you can pull over right there. You could definitely park there and I don't think anybody would care for a night. If you had to. Like you said, like I said, you can use that excuse while I'm going fishing. Where's your fishing license? Oh damn, I forgot it. I guess I'm not fishing tomorrow. <laughs> Do I have to stay here the rest of the night and then leave? Well, that was a little bit of an adventure. Four low areas with water over the road. Yep. And double A. <laughs> yep. So then we want uh Highway O, they're really flying through there, aren't they? A few miles beyond Hager City. This will be a while yet, I think. Hager City. Coming that way. Hager City. Got that? Highway O, beyond Hager City. Motorcycles out here today. Fallen rocks. Person. Yeah, I see that. Why are they walking down the highway like this? It looks like a winter too. Look at that hair. Yeah. Maiden Rock population 115. Though. I wonder why they call it Maiden Rock. There must be a rock that's. A maiden or something. <laughs> There's a retaining wall. <coughs> uh -oh. One lane road ahead. Oh, well, they're working on something up here. Oh, I guess so. We've got to stop up here. Nobody stop. Stop here on red. Well, it's red, so we're stopping. Yikes. They don't give you a lot of room there, do they? they flying up there and still in my lane. Minnesota, what are they doing here? Well, this is interesting. Oh, we got a green light. Away we go! Once again. 115 people here. Uh, you'd know everybody in this city for sure. <laughs> Somebody was born here, you'd be celebrating that probably. Oh, a new person, 116. Uh, 100, uh, 299 here too, know me. Yeah. Look at that house, it's full, full of what, vines and stuff, trees. Uh, cultural cloth. <laughs> Fallen rocks. Whoa, look at, you can see the Mississippi there from way up here through all these buildings here. And trees.
that one's anybody living there anymore. Back on the left. Well, look at this. They built this house right on the edge here, too. Yeah. No trespassing. Don't you go up there. No. Can't believe they have that gated off, even. So do they have to... Well, maybe they get up there this way. They have to get that... Wow, there's a... Fancy. Did you see that painting on that barn or whatever that was up there? No. Nope. That was really good. I don't think any camera is going to pick that up either. It was up high, you know. Uh, it might be a while before we get to Hager City. I don't see it on the sign again. River. Rush River Ferry or Berry Optic. What is that? Must be a little park there too. Something next to the Rush River. Where you can, maybe it's a uh, one that you can put your canoe and kayak in or something. Because there's like a parking area right next to the river there. Probably one of those, you know. We're gonna do some kayaking and canoeing or whatever. Who knows? That's probably where you pick up, otherwise you wind up in the Mississippi. <laughs> probably start further up somewhere. Oh, is this another historical marker up here? I'm not getting anywhere today, there's so many of them, right? Yeah. There's another one up here. Laurel's Wingle, Lingle's Wilder. Yeah. Stopped and took a leak here back in 1875. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some Tammy Baldwin people there. Ugh. What's wrong with them? I don't see it yet. It must be right around the corner here somewhere. up here. Is it left? <laughs> yep, it's left. Well, we gotta check this out because it overlooks the water. Well, there's a whole bunch of people here, too. Yeah. That sucks. But anyway, maybe we can read it. Oh, I thought this guy was coming down here. <laughs> coming in here. <sighs> the sucker needs to get over, I tell you that. What was that? Uh, Nate Peppin. Ah, shoot, can't even read it. This beautiful lake is 20, 22 miles long, varies in width from one to two and two and a half miles, and covers about 38 mi square miles. It was caused by the delta. Can't read it, people standing in the way. Yeah, we're just gonna get in there. Oh, look at that thing, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, by the delta of the Chippewa. I can't believe they have to get so close to read it. Chippewa spreading across the gorge of the Mississippi. Ah, whatever. I can't see it. Those dumb people are standing in front of it. Dumb people. Dumb people. Yep. Why do they have to be right up next to it? Are they that blind? Maybe they are. I don't know. Wayside down here, Nubby. I wonder if this one's open. <laughs> see if they got a bathroom if they're open or not I'm not gonna stop but I'm just gonna see maybe it's got a good view of the water and then again maybe not yeah I see it oh yeah that's open there's cars there it's a big one I could have went in there I guess that the water well let's keep going Go, pick her up, boy. Boy. Anyway, that was all about that lake. <laughs> well, you'd think they'd move to the side so I could freaking read it. They know I'm sitting there trying to read it, you know. They can read it uh, 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 
from the sides, couldn't they? Just not very pleasant people. Or not very accommodating people or something. I don't know what you want to say. Kind of rude that they're standing right in front of the darn thing. When there's somebody behind you trying to read it. Hager City. Merle Haggard City. <laughs> And Hell's Angels Group 2, Nelly. <laughs> Getting their wind therapy. That's what they call it, wind therapy. Nelly. You can get that, uh, just open their car windows, you know. You go in therapy. <laughs> it goes the train again. Yeah. And there's a bicycle. Yeah, a nice little moving tree right there. Welcome to Bay City. Uh, this guy's all over the road. He should be over to the right more. Or this girl. Whatever it is. Can't say for sure. Alright. Yeah, they're Darrell Den and they're all nubby. Bay City Campground. Over there. Huh. The Bay City Campground. That's interesting. It must be right down by the water. Probably should have checked that one out. <laughs> Maybe I'll just look that up. Bay City Campground. Isn't that something? Sunrise Coffee. I saw that advertised back there somewhere. Huh. Look at all those little scooters there. Those didn't even motorcycles. Scooters. Another historical marker. For an rock, crying out loud, right? Yeah. I didn't expect so many of them. <sighs> Shoot. Well, this one's on our side. There's one car there. I don't think they're blocking it this time, are they? We'll do this one, I guess. I guess they are almost. Almost, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they stop right there. there Bow and arrow. Oh, now they leave. Yeah. <sighs> the rock cro the rock outline you see on the distant bluff is an archae archaeological curiosity. Jacob V. Brower, a Minnesota archaeologist, observed this formation in 1902 and interpreted it as a bow and arrow. In 1903, he wrote, some of the stones representing the bowstring are displaced. The intention seems to have been to represent a, what now, the intention seems to have been to represent a bow, an arrow drawn to shoot toward Lake Pepin. Modern archeologists think the boulders may form a bird effigy, but no one has reached a definite conclusion, although it is an old well-known landmark perhaps even ancient its origin and age are unknown and it's not part of the Indian lore of this region boulder alignments made by Indians exist in other states but this is the only one known in Wisconsin was it made by Indians is it a bow and arrow or a bird it remains a mystery erected 1979 I don't see nothing do you well we got to look um Rock outcropping. I don't see nothing. Way down there. Maybe. Uh, don't see crap. I don't see anything. Uh, it's grown up. It's probably grown up. Yeah, I don't see shit. Oh well. Uh, oh, I don't see anything. <laughs> and back on the highway. Maybe we'll see it on the camera, who knows. Oh yeah, bow and arrow now. Big chicken there on the right. There must be a restaurant. Yep. <laughs> it's a chicken place. Is it always stop? Yep, always stop, Dubby. Uh, that goes over to Minnesota there. Yeah, 
by 18 miles to Prescott. Hager City, that way. So, okay, we're going to look for O now. So, it shouldn't be too far now, then. Hager City's down that way. Mm -hmm. Look at these bluffs over here. Look at somebody lopped off the top of that bluff up there. See that? There's no trees at the right in the middle up there. Yeah. That is funny. Think they went up there and cut the trees down? Maybe. There's a tower up there. See that tower up there? Some kind of tower up there. Yeah, there's some kind of. I think it's a. I forgot what kind of tower that is, but there's a tower up there. Maybe a cell tower, huh? Electricity up there. Yeah. Well, here it is already. See? Yeah. Look at that, see what was that? Chevy. Chevy? It's old, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so. Left on 710th Avenue or Rustic Road 92. Got that? <laughs> 710th Avenue or Rustic Road 92. There'd probably be one of those tiny little signs out there again. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is the second rustic road of six today. <laughs> how many, how many uh, historical markers that we've been at already today? There's an old shack right there. There's the outhouse right out there. See that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. Pretty close to the house. Or something. I don't know if it's a house or not. Could be, huh? Look at this little boom truck down here. What do you call them? Boom trucks? Yeah. Just sitting there. Something like that. One of those trucks you fix the electrical wires with. Look at the water moving there pretty good underneath that little culvert there. Let's drive through it, Nubby. <laughs> we were in through four streams today already we drove through. There it is, down to the right. Yeah. Hal Warson. That's the name of the person that owns that property there. Look at the old satellite dish. <laughs> Defunct? There's a boat for you, Nubby. Yeah, it don't look too prosperous anymore. Right? Back in the day, it looks like he had the first satellite dish, but he's probably gone now. You know? <laughs> hey, you want to read some books, Nubby? Just exchange your book in there. This here is pretty rustic in itself again, isn't it? The road, this road itself is rustic. time I'm done with these rustic roads and stuff, I'm gonna need all new brakes, all new shocks, probably in alignment, <laughs> right? Yeah, no kidding. Probably new tires. Here comes Hell's Angels again. I'm sure it's a bunch of little, bunch of CEOs and stuff. That's how most of those motorcycle people are now, you know. They're not actually in gangs anymore or anything, you know. They're just some more riding clubs. <laughs> uh, uh. Recreation area. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's this? A walking path there or something? Huh? Look at that. Huh? Cool. Picnic table down there. I missed it. This is 
trim bell, trim belly up here, trim belly. There's a city up here. Now. That's a junction 10. Well, stop. Oh, must go. Where am I supposed to stop? I don't see any stops now. Oh, goes to the left yet up here. Park down there. Bump. Ugh. Well, they just worked on this road. Huh? They sure did. <laughs> Get over there. Uneven lanes now. This is the Trim Valley River too. Oh, we're going to go to the right right here. There's a bump. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a major one there. But it was wrong. It was wrong. Alright. That apparently was Highway 10 right there, huh? This house here on the left. We got a porch out front. That's something? All the way around there. There it is. We got a good size sign up in this one at least. Alright, I'm going to stop here and read that. Shouldn't bother anybody. Next four miles. Rustic Road 92, location Northwest Wisconsin, Pierce County, Happy Valley Road, also known as 770th Avenue and 910th Street to 710th Avenue East until its intersection with County O. 4.1 miles paved R92 is a lovely winding and hilly route that takes the traveler through a canopy of basswood, elm, maple, and oak trees for part of the route, giving the traveler a feeling of entering a peaceful tunnel. Ooh, that's kind of neat, huh? Uh, during spring and summer, the, the sides of the roads are lined with green foliage and wildflowers such as Dutchman's Breeches, Bloodroot, Chamomile, Chamomile Chamomile, I don't know, and Hepatia, he, hepa, Hepatitia, I don't know. Rolling farm fields and steep tree-covered hills add to the beauty of the road. And that's it. And away we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We're gonna go through a, a tunnel of trees. Maybe. Somewhere here. Flies all over the place. See him? I saw him flying around there a second ago. There I got something. Ooh, look at this bird here on the right. Look at that bird. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Is that an eagle? Or I don't know. Maybe. We should have got a pretty good shot of that, you know. That's pretty close to us, wasn't it? Yeah. All right, looks like it swings right here already. Yep. Doing this with one finger. <laughs> one finger turn, Nubby. In the ditch, quick. Because I got a cap in my hand and a drink in my other hand. <laughs> the one finger turn. See one of those tiny towers right there was on top of that bluff. Yeah. It wasn't quite as tall as that though. Probably didn't need to be because it was on top of the bluff. And it might be a cell tower. 5G. Shut 
check your mailbox, buddy. Left the mailbox open. Is this the tunnel of trees down here, Noe? Must be. Oh, do, 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 do. Here comes a motorcycle the other direction. Some kind. Maybe it's not a motorcycle. Uh, it is a, yeah, it's a motorcycle. He at least has a helmet on. Wind therapy, no. What do they got behind that fence? Nothing. For training their horses or something. Tunnel, though. We, yeah. A lot of people living down here, though. This doesn't compare to the first one. I don't think we'll have any of them like that today. That was amazing. Is it tunnel? Yeah. Definitely. Reminds me of that road down on uh, Wildcat Mountain there. That we went down to that little place where you put your canoes in the water and stuff. And the and there was a picnic area down there. We went down and ate our snacks. <laughs> yeah. That one was really overgrown too. Uh -huh. It's pretty down here though. No, no. Those are wildflowers. If they ever get their hoses out of our backyard, I'll plant those down there, you know. That's what I plan to do this fall, so they come up in the spring, you know. Yeah. I don't know if they're going to get them out of there, though, because they pretty won't. I bet they won't have that done. Here's the car coming. I bet they will not have that done this winter, before winter. And they'll have to finish it in the spring. But they're going to tear that entire road up there. Put in their new culverts and all that shit they got sitting there. They won't have it done. So that project's probably on hold till next fall. <laughs> if I'm still alive then. Another guy mowing. <clears throat> it's mowing day. I'll try and mow tomorrow. If I'm not too exhausted. <laughs> Jogger. Well, you gotta make sure you see him with his shirt off, Nubby. And his short shorts. Yeah. Well, hope that's the right way. <laughs> Did you see any signs? Nope. Me either. Yeah, I think it's pretty much straight. Oh, that's the old one. Or, I mean, that's the next one. Oh, yeah, slow down. Put this back down here and then look at this thing. Well, I'm not sure what road we're on right now. That's the right one, 770th Avenue. You see it right there, or Happy Hollow Road. That's what we're on, I believe. Pretty cool. Ugh, my ears keep plugging up today. All this up and down these hills and stuff. 
I have to pop them open. Oh, Lordy. 35.